What's going on guys? Welcome back to another War Thunder video. Today I'm flying out the Spitfire Mark 5B Trop. Uh, as you can see, I put on a custom camouflage in this particular match. I put on a Turkish uh, camo. This was recently featured on the WarThunder.com website. And it was a creation from one of the uh, War Thunder community members. I'll put a download link for it in the uh, video description below. I thought it turned out really nice. You know, when you look at some of the planes in War Thunder, you don't see a whole lot of uh, desert camouflage. Most of them are for uh, Europe, European theater maps. There's a lot of greens and grays and uh, blacks. There's not, not a whole lot of desert camo. And sometimes it makes me wonder why. After all, World War II wasn't just fought over, uh, over in the Pacific, nor was it just fought in the European theater. There was a lot of fighting in Africa. North Africa saw a lot of combat. So it makes sense that we would get some more uh, more desert camo. I'd like to see Gaijin put a little more focus, uh, you know, have its artists spend a little more time in, on creating more in-game camouflage rather than relying on the community to create it for them. Anyway, as for this match, I'm flying the, the yeah, Spitfire Mark 5B. We're up against the Russians. We're fighting alongside the Americans. No, I don't fly the Mark 5B very often, and I found out why. The wings are unbelievably thin. I've flown this this aircraft probably four or five times in the last couple of days, just trying to get used to it. I ripped my wings more more times than I, I was shot down in it. The wings are incredibly fragile, much more so than all the other Spitfires that I've that I've experienced anyway. If you do happen to take this particular Spitfire out, I recommend flying with with, with extreme caution, <laughs> because it is frustrating as hell flying this thing and seeing your rib, your uh, wings rip off. That being said, it is a nice little aircraft. You do have, to, after all, have two Hispanos with 120 rounds of ammunition, as well as four 7.7mm uh, .7 machine guns. Pardon the derpiness there. <laughs> I was honestly going to dive either way. And then the and the end up dying, so I just screw it. I I, I meant I got a little nervous there because I thought I was gonna rip my wings, but thankfully that didn't happen. It seems like all the Russians are low. There's an I-16. He's awfully low. I'm at four and a half kilometers. No one else seems to have uh, climbed up here. P-63. I'm gonna dive down and get out of the clouds. And this is one of those situations where you do have to watch your speed. It's very easy to rip your wings. Even while just a, this gentle turn. If you hit, yeah, over 700 kilometers an hour already. This thing is extremely aerodynamic. You pick up speed so well. It's a very light aircraft. I-16 is directly below me. I want to get him if I can and then go up to the P-63. Sometimes I wish this thing had air brakes that I could slow down even more. But with all that speed built up, I just can't make that uh, get those little adjustments. So I have to take it vertical and uh, bleed off some of that speed so that way I can get back into a back into a turn fight and take care of this I-16. Just off. Not leading quite enough. My aim with the, the uh, Hispanos is tends to come and go. I don't fly the, the British very often. You can see it didn't take much of a much of a burst for the I-16 to burst into flames. The new uh, air target ammo that Gaijin added for the uh, Hispanos a couple weeks ago is pretty great, actually. You only need a couple of bursts and, and, your, uh, and your enemy is going to burst into flames. And like that right there. The Yak-3P got Got ganged up on. He didn't have stand much of a chance. I'm afraid. There was uh, three of us on him. A small group of planes like that can take down half the enemy team if they have that that uh, new air target ammo with the uh, with the Hispanos. Get a couple of typhoons or a couple of Spitfires, and before you know it, they can have the team wiped out. The new air target ammo has a lot of uh, high explosive in the uh, in the ammo, rather than just you know, like half explosive and half armor piercing, which I think is what the regular stealth has. I think the stealth is like half 
a high explosive and half AP or something like that. I'd have to look just to verify. But I think it's close to half and half. Anyway, while my uh, teammates and I try to chase down the last couple of guys that are remaining, I want to apologize for the lack of videos here this past week. I think this is the only... I think this is the only... It's the second video that I've had up in the last week. And that's because I just haven't felt like recording videos or really even playing War Thunder because of a foot problem I've been having. I do all my work at home from a computer and after I get done with work I just don't feel like playing. I'd rather find a relaxing chair and get my feet up and or even just crawl in bed and you know, get my feet up. I'm d I, I've got a problem with uh, plantar fasciitis. For those of you who don't know what that is, it's a, it's a ligament on the bottom of your foot that acts like a shock absorber for as you walk or run or jump or whatever. And once you get tears in that, your foot can get inflamed and it's extremely painful just to walk. Hell, just sitting at the computer chair hurts. <laughs> That's why I'd rather be sitting at a more comfortable chair with my feet up or, uh, you know, just in bed, you know, with my feet up trying to get some, uh, just trying to relax it. Thankfully, it's only a problem in my right foot and not, and not both of my feet. But then, I think it was three weeks ago, I actually hurt my left my left calf. I don't know if you guys have ever hurt, hurt, hurt your calf, but I actually tore a muscle in my left calf three weeks ago. Oh my god, that thing hurt like hell. It was one of the strangest things, too, because I was, I was, all I was doing was just walking my dog, and there was two steps that I remember taking. The first one was like a popping sound, and then the second sound, you could actually feel the muscles tearing. It was one of the most uncomfortable and painful moments that I can remember. I, I'm not really one who gets injured a whole lot. So it's really strange to have that injury, followed by the uh, plantar fasciitis. Right now, my, it just seems like my lower body is just breaking down all of a sudden. <laughs> Thankfully the calf is all is all healed. I don't have any pain there. I was just uh, getting over the plantar fasciitis. Hopefully I can get the inflammation down and and uh, get back to making videos on a regular basis. With two kills, I managed to get up a little over 33,000 silver lines. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this video. And again, I apologize for the lack of uh, videos here in the past week. Hopefully that will change this week, in this uh, next coming week. I'm hoping to get a new P51 video out and probably a new A6M5 video. I haven't done one of those in a while. Anyway, guys, thanks again for watching. If you're new, subscribe. Take care, guys.